Here's a book called Sugar Blues, and we're going to talk to you today about why you should read it. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with a, I guess it's another low carb keto carnivore chat, but today it's going to be about a book that we read a while ago. It's called Sugar Blues by William Dufty. You'll see the, uh, the book. I'll leave the book up here the whole time. There's no other images that I really need to show you. But this book was written in 1975. Oh, and we did a, a review about it, I think two years ago. I have a link in my blog post. Just go to my blog. It's better than going on the comment section here. But if you don't want to go to my blog, maybe I'll consider putting a link for this book in there. But this book was written 1975. And they basically go, I think the first third of the book, talk to you about the, I guess, the slave trade that sugar, sugar was, was literally a global thing, like millions of people, way more than American slavery. And then they get, go into, they don't t teach you what it does. There's no scientific charts or studies. It just tells you like what happens to you when you eat processed sugar and what happens to kids. And it, it's just a fascinating, fascinating book. And it was a, a big seller back in 1975. I don't know what the population in America was in 75, 200 and something million, but it sold uh, like almost 2 million copies. It's interesting how despite this, this excellent collection of words that it didn't help the planet. I guess it's it's that addictive. The obesity and sickness and all these diseases are at an all time high now, despite you know advancements in humanity and, and technology and knowledge. Uh, they just get you. They get they got you screwed. So I highly recommend this. I mean, even if you're a low carb carnivore person already, you don't need it. I think it's still a good book to read to have in your arsenal of information. You might even be able to help others. I call it red pilling, but you might be able to help others. And before I leave here, I'm going to do a real quick thing. There's a, a, a review. I just found a, a decent review on a website on the internet and I'm going to read it to you. And that'll be how we close this vlog today. Here it goes. Quote, I do not usually write reviews on books as it is just my interpretation of what the author told me. And this person put up this uh, comment because someone had put uh, a negative, negative reviews up. And the person continues, this book is not scientific. Uh, there's many other books that have info for that. This book does not give you ins implicit instructions on how to cook, kick sugar or processed food. This book is about sugar blues. A friend recommended it as an eye opener. I never heard the term sugar blues despite having suffered it a few times. The book is brilliant in explaining how sugar has become totally integrated into our world. So many doctors and sciences in the past have tried to show how this is damaging to us, but the reports have not made headline media at their time or in current times. This has lots of historical reviews and examples of people suffering from sugar addiction. It also rants about the effects on people. It is five stars for making me realize that I'm putting an inert substance into me and my family that has no nutritional value. I also cannot escape this as it is in everything. I'm going to try though. It awakens me in a curiosity about why I'm being fed food that is bad for me. As I have aged, my medical visits have increased. Why? Other cultures have records of this not happening. For this awareness, this book gets five stars. I was asleep until recently. Seriously, it's an easy read. It's fun. I like the way the author doesn't uh, sugarcoat stuff. He just tells it like it is. That's one of the good things. You may not... A lot of people are very much used to everybody tiptoeing around a subject. They don't tiptoe around this subject. I highly recommend it. So if you like the video, please hit the buttons and all that stuff and recommend us to your friends. Maybe someone can give us a little support. I'll say it every time until I get a decent number of uh, visitors or subscribers. Please subscribe to our channel. We're honest and we work really hard. Have a great day.